what's up y'all welcome back to the channel and i'm back with another makeup tutorial i've been on it lately you know consistency is key but uh anyway i don't know what that was <laughs> anyway we're starting off with the brows the brows are like the nipples of the face i don't know if that makes sense to y'all but it makes sense to me basically what i'm trying to say is your brows frame your face so for me i like to start off with my brows a lot of people like to start off with foundation i don't see how y'all do that but i have to start off with my brows but i start off with my brows and then i'm going in with some concealer to prime my eyelids i do have eyeshadow primer but it's kind of dried up you know so concealer is the next best thing i went in with two layers of it actually so this is the second layer and then uh I'm gonna go through and blend that out and then I believe I'm gonna put some powder yeah I'm putting some powder on here that way I can set it because I definitely have oily lids I have oily eyelids I have an oily face so I have to set my stuff so it doesn't go slipping and sliding all over the place but yeah I actually ordered from makeup geek since they're getting rid of all of their makeup and I ordered what was left because a lot of it is sold out so if you've never tried makeup geek like me and you want to try it for the one time then now is your chance get whatever is left uh, but yeah I'm going in with this orange eyeshadow and really pigmented a lot of the stuff or all of the stuff that I used in this video is really pigmented you're gonna you're gonna see throughout this video but I'm going in with this orange shadow and I'm focusing it on my outer corner and then I'm blending it into the crease as well. I considered doing a cut crease, but it I just figured it wasn't necessary. But I'm going in with this foiled pigment named Firefly. This is also from Makeup Geek. Now, as you saw in the picture, it looks one color. It kind of looks the same color as that orange shade that I used in my uh, crease but it's a foiled pigment so once you put it on your eyes it looks a completely different color it's actually like this gold color and i actually really like it it's really cute so i'm going through and i'm focusing this color on my lid and i'm kind of blending it into my crease i'm trying to blend the two together like a beautiful union and then i'm going back in with a little bit more of that orange eyeshadow and i'm kind of blending that line between the orange and the foil pigment if that makes sense that way it's not just like a harsh line right there you want to blend them together and then i just saw myself take a deep breath liner is probably like one of the most stressful things to do on the face for me at least and you know i have a shaky hand and sometimes it's more shaky than others and today was one of those days to where my hand just was shaking shaking like a stripper for whatever reason but that's why y'all saw me take that deep breath because baby my hand was just shaking but i got the job done and then i'm going in with this mascara from milani uh y'all gonna see me make some faces because i was watching youtube while i was doing my makeup i was actually watching the uh tea and coco show here on youtube I watch the Terrell show when he has guests on there to sing and stuff, but I, I've never watched the Tea and Coco show and I'm mad that it took me this long to get on it and I've been addicted and binge watching all of the episodes. So yeah, if you need something to watch on YouTube, check them out. Definitely a good show, good laugh, love it. But fun fact, I actually got this mascara from Marshalls for like four or five dollars and yeah, I was showing y'all my natural lashes because I did not feel like fooling with false lashes. Like I said, out of my hand was like extremely shaky this day, so I was not gonna frustrate myself with putting on false lashes. So now I'm going in and priming the face. I'm using this primer from First Aid Beauty, and if it looks like I used a lot, I definitely did. This is definitely too much, but yeah, exactly. I look like a ghost, but we gonna work with what we do. <laughs> We gonna work with what we got but now i'm going in with foundation this is the maybelline fit me foundation tried and true if you need a good foundation to start off with like you're new to makeup or you just need something that's you know affordable 
you can get this at Walmart, Wally World, for like, how much is this? I want to say $8, but I'm not sure. You know the prices on everything has been going up, but this is an affordable product. I use the matte and poreless. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I use the matte and poreless one, and then they have a... I forgot what it's called. My mind just went blank, but they have one for people who have like dry skin. And then if you're oily like me, you want to get the matte and poreless one. They have a dewy and smooth. I think that's what it's called. But now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I tried to be modest and uh, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild concealers. Same concealers that I use to prime my eyelid. I'm going in with this color that's closer to my skin tone. And I tried to be modest and put the lighter color concealer. Like a few dots of it. But... Uh, a little later on, after I get through blending this out, you're going to see that I went in with like a couple of more dots of that lighter concealer shade color. I just said a lot of unnecessary words right there. But yeah, I'm going to go through and blend this out. I actually did not go through and like conceal my dark spots on my face. Like usually I would go in with like an orange concealer and conceal that set that then go in with the foundation and stuff that way you don't see my dark spots under my foundation like you can see in this video but i didn't care i did not want to put all of this makeup on because you know compared to a few years ago i've kind of dwindled down and i don't like pack a whole bunch of makeup on my face like i used to now you may be looking at this and be like what are you talking about that's a lot of makeup Compared to years ago, if you go back and watch my other like makeup tutorials from years ago, this is a lot less for me. But uh, I'm baking, right? Yeah, you see my face. I went in with powder and I'm baking. And then I'm going in with this bronzer from Makeup Geek, I believe it's called Chestnut. And I made that face because, like I said earlier in this video, everything that I ordered is very pigmented. Like, I'm mad that I didn't order from them sooner. And, you know, I'm going to have to definitely make this last and cherish it while I have it because, <sighs> you know, the makeup's not going to be there sooner or later. I would hope later on down the road that Marlena, you know, somehow releases makeup again. Like, I would really love it because... The little bit that I was able to get my hands on, I, I love it. Uh, now I'm going through and wiping off any of that excess powder. And for whatever reason, I forgot to brush the powder off of my forehead. So when I turn my head to the side, you're going to see that. Now I'm going in with this blush from Makeup Geek in the color Desire. I don't know what it is. Like for years, I was never like a blush girl. I had that mindset of I'm black, I don't blush, but that is very much not a true statement. Black people blush, believe it or not. But y'all can see this pigmented and I was like, oh, that's pigmented. And y'all see me right now going back in with even more blush. Like I've fallen in love with wearing blush. I don't know what it is, but I'm a blush girl now. It, it took me a while to get on the game, but I'm here now. And I love putting blush on my nose too. Like, I don't know what that is, but I love that. Now I'm going in with some highlighter. This is the loose highlighter from Wet n Wild in the color I'm All Glown Up. And I love this shade. It's this shade and then it's another one. I can't remember, but uh, the Wet n Wild, also affordable. And... Uh, very good quality. A lot of the affordable brands are stepping up their quality. They have been for the past few years. So, you know, makeup has come a long way. And, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of it. And for the lips, I kept it simple. I already had Vaseline on when I first started. So I just went in with some uh, Fenty Gloss. You can never go wrong with a good Fenty Gloss. And, yeah, is that it? What else did I do after that? Oh, I set my face. Duh. Definitely want to set your face. Even if you use powder, you still got to set your face. I use 
this setting spray from makeup revolution and then i'm gonna dry my face but you know i'm still looking for a good like setting spray but i'm pretty sure i'll find one but this is the end result thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see y'all next week later y'all See my heart turn to bone. Rather see my.